Hello, my name is Harambe. <laughs> That's horrible, I'm just kidding. Why is it so damn dark in here? Because it's a gloomy day. That's why. That's better. Gotta turn off this guy though. This is my nightlight. Just makes the room glow at night. Looks really cool. All right, let's do this. Hello guys, who are you? David DeFranco here. From DavidDeFranco.com with the weekend. What do I usually say? Oh yes, a vlog and see vlog. Oh, Ellie's birthday's tomorrow. Ellie, happy birthday. I know it's tomorrow, but by the time you see this on Monday or Tuesday, whenever your schedule allows, then they, uh, there's, there's, there's your birthday wish. Of course, I'll text you tomorrow. Anyway, yes, this is the weekend of Vlog and see Vlog. For anybody new to my channel, this is my weekly vlog where I show you what goes on between Friday and Sunday. Whether I'm at home with my cat, that's Maui. Say hello, Maui. All right, we'll catch up with you later. Or perhaps I'm at Driftwood. Which I'm actually gonna edit right now. That's my dad's Terracopter unboxing, which isn't gonna be terribly exciting. However, I will be uploading a more exciting unboxing video today, also recorded at Driftwood. The 2015, no, 2016, no, 2015, um, 15 inch MacBook Pro that my dad bought himself. I'm a little jealous because it's got the i6, uh, yeah, i6, it doesn't even exist, David. The i7 processor, process, I, what am I saying? And I have the i5. Us, us tech geeks, that's all we're really worried about is the higher number. Come on, that's the sad truth. However, with that said, I'll probably get, no, I will be getting the new 2016 MacBook Pros when they're refreshed, most likely in the fall, because that rumored OLED bar on, on the top of the keyboard design sounds really cool. Just imagine notifications or that bar taking advantage of apps like Photoshop shortcuts, video editing shortcuts in Final Cut Pro 10 and iMovie. I think it could be quite powerful and it could be the next big thing to happen to the MacBook line next to the uh, Force Touch trackpad, which I'm a huge fan of. I love that trackpad. It still blows my mind today. Anyway, it's almost noon. I slept in. I'm not gonna lie. I was up till four o'clock last night watching YouTube and stuff and also playing Rainbow Six Siege. Yes, I'm still playing Rainbow Six Siege. Love that game so much and I'll be playing it later today. Gotta get my fix on. Cheers. So let's start the day with some coffee. Um, it's very muggy out as I've made clear, hence the bad lighting. But that doesn't bother me because I'm gonna be inside today working on things. So today's agenda. Enjoy my coffee. That's not work. That's just something that kind of naturally happens every day. I want to upload the pages only of vlog. It's a vlog. I still have to preview it. It should be okay. It's about like 54 minutes long-ish, uh, which is good, which is good. And then I have some changes to make to DeFranco University's homepage. I basically want to do a larger focus on the content that you can access on the homepage, and I'm gonna do that today, as well as publish my newest post, which is all about the ebook that I've taken the time to write, called 101 Unique Ways to Boost Your Creativity. It's a free ebook. Check it out if you haven't done so already. It's linked right below, and enjoy. I'm thinking about making an audiobook version of that. What do you think? Now, if I do that, that I can't give away for free. I'll, I'll sell it for like a dollar. Just gotta make my money back somehow, right? Because obviously that takes a lot more time, um, you know, putting it together, editing, and all that stuff. And what else? Edit the unboxing of the Terracopter, like I said. Enjoy my day. See what, oh, yes! Something very exciting is coming in the mail today, and I can't wait. Very yellow lighting today, guys. I apologize. It's okay, though. It's okay. So expect a very exciting unboxing later today. I cannot wait. I technically already had a somewhat other version of it. That doesn't even make sense. If you follow me on Instagram, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Instagram.com slash David Franco. That's always right below. Follow me. I appreciate it. So yeah, 
Stay tuned for that. It's gonna be fun. Hmm. I gotta put my watch on. I feel so naked without my watch. This chair has issues. Okay, long intros long, guys. Enjoy the vlog. Random foot in the face. Well, the air's on. You'll like that, right? Yeah, it's been a little warm lately. All right, David, focus. I just love vlogging. Something's going on outside. Some kind of alarm. That's loud. Hmm. I heard someone over the loudspeaker. I don't know what they were saying, though. I could be doomed. Hey, Mal. Maui loves going out on rainy days. I don't know. He's definitely not a normal kitty. That's for sure. And I think that's awesome. Anyway, yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. I've, I've never heard that noise before. We'll see, we'll see. It might mean destruction. Also, hold on, what did Rebecca say? Cool. I have been approved. I mean, I kind of expected to be approved. They asked me. Basically, a company reached out to me asking if I wanted the smart lock, it's called, uh, where it's basically a padlock, but it's enabled by Bluetooth. And you can actually unlock the padlock using the Touch ID sensor on your iPhone or a fingerprint scanner on Android. How cool is that? Think about it. Now I can safely lock up my bike at Driftwood, which I never do anyway, because Driftwood's very trustworthy and I've yet to have any issues there. Okay, the alarm just shut off. I don't know what that was. Anyway, it's gonna be really cool locking up stuff and literally unlocking it through the convenience of Touch ID, just with my thumb. I think that's awesome. That is really, really cool. And apparently it tracks user activity as well. So I don't think I even need to be near it to track activity because I think maybe like once, I, I don't know, I don't really know much about it, but I'm assuming like if somebody tries to open it without Touch ID, like, you know, a typical code or whatever, then maybe I'll get an alert, which I think is pretty cool. So speaking of camping, excuse me, I'm gonna get really yellow for a second. My family is there this weekend. Actually, my dad's been at Driftwood since yesterday because he had his fun fly event where I think they just fly planes and drones in the airfield, which is pretty cool. And my mom's going there tonight with Hunter Pants. I'm a little jealous because I really, really like Driftwood a lot. But honestly, I was just there for five nights. So that's a pretty damn good Driftwood fix if you ask me. Now, the only reason I'm not going is because I will be at Chris and Tiff's house tomorrow for Chris's birthday party, which is cool. You gotta be there for your friend. So that's obviously more important. And plus I got him a very cool birthday gift, which I know he's gonna love. Look at his creep. He's still there. I wonder when so-and-so is going to arrive. Not so-and-so as in a person, but so-and-so as in the item that I teased earlier. All right, I really like using this tripod, by the way. It makes things much easier. Oh, speaking of that, I'm gonna order like a good mini tripod today because I have to order K-Cups. I'm finally running out. I only have like one more little bag left. So I figured why not order a reliable tripod? This one works well enough, but I don't trust it. And let's face it, this isn't exactly the lightest camera. Plus it cost me a thousand dollars. If I were to lose a thousand dollar camera thanks to this shitty little tripod, that would make me very, very angry. So I simply cannot take the risk. All right, back to Mac Break Weekly. Love this show. And getting things done. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. There's something in there that I would enjoy, you know? Silence. Because I have some great news. Check it out. TheFrancoUniversity.com just got a whole lot better. Now, this is the same, this is the same, this is the same, and this is the same. 
This will not be changing for a while. But scrolling down, we used to have these categories over here where you'd click on the category images and then go into said category, whether it's blogging, video content, podcasting, creative design, passive income, or crowdfunding. But as of today, Friday, June 3rd, you can now access the newest article per category from the homepage of thefrancouniversity.com. That's a big, big deal from a design perspective because I want more people reading my work. Once a week, I publish a new original article, so I want my work and my time to be worth it. So if you still have not checked out thefrancouniversity.com, please do so. It means a lot to me, and I think this just makes it even better. Awesome. And I gotta say, it looks good as well. And right down here is where today's blog post will be live soon as of one o'clock. So about a half hour to go. It's currently scheduled, which is very nice. So shout out to my fellow content creators. Take my advice. Once you launch a project, that's great. But keep an eye on that project. Continue to optimize it for the best results possible. I feel that this is the best decision I've made uh, regarding the homepage because, well, let's face it, it's a big deal. This is a big, big change and it could attract more traffic. Actually, it's pretty much guaranteed to attract more traffic because people are now seeing the articles from the homepage instead of just this teaser slider, if you will, which is great as well, but at least down here, these little excerpts, they give you a preview of what to expect. For instance, how my email list grew by over 200 subscribers in one month. Seriously, that's a killer tip, especially if you take email marketing seriously. And designing the perfect podcast cover art. You might want to check that out as well. So there you go. A quick plug for my website. No shame. Well, because it's my site, my, my uh, videos. So check it out if you want. I appreciate it. And it means a lot. Thank you. I'm just a little behind today on the patrons only vlog because stupid me forgot to upload it last night when I went to bed But come on that doesn't even compare to the weekend vlog. Oh my god That was a painfully long Process first of all, I just want to thank anybody anybody who took the time out of their day to watch the entire weekend vlog if you did that Seriously, I want to give you a hug right now. Picture my body wrapped around your body. Naked. Alright, we don't have to be naked, but seriously, I want to hug you. Thank you so much because not only was that an incredibly long vlog, actually my longest vlog ever, at least for that holiday weekend. I'm not sure how it compares to Seaside. I think one year Seaside series was like actually three hours long which is insane in, in itself. But anyway, not only was that a very long vlog, but it was also extremely time consuming for me. Picture the vlog length times two, because I have to sit through that entire vlog to make sure everything looks good. And that's just what I did. I don't think there were, what the? I don't think there were any errors, um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, I just, I just hope you guys can realize how much time goes into that work and I cannot appreciate your support anymore seriously thank you thank you thank you there's plenty more where that came from notice i always end up in the sunroom natural light baby natural light you can't beat it even if it's behind me and i'm kind of silhouetting that's okay all right back into the office it's already 121 but as soon as that pages only vlog processes then i shall preview it and publish it and also, last night for dinner, I made tacos which were banging, so that means I have plenty of taco meat left over for lunch today. Which is awesome. I think I'm going to start next week's The Franklin University article. How to make your website's homepage more effective. Gee, I wonder what inspired that. I have begun working on next week's article. So far, so good. I would normally use my iPad Pro, but I'm going to use that to preview the patrons only vlog. By the way, it's already 2 o'clock. Definitely a little behind. It's okay, it's okay. It'll definitely be out by like four o'clock. Currently preheating the oven for leftover tacos. Ignore that, I made beef last night. It went everywhere. It's pretty much impossible for me to not make a mess when cooking. 
but I do love cooking. I do. And I went food shopping yesterday. Cleaned out my fridge. Got plenty of food, plenty of snacks and all that stuff. It's good. And I got a lot of beef. A lot of beef. Yes. I do love beef, guys. I do. Mm. And it's still a little gloomy outside. It's not too bad, though. Not too bad. Can't really complain. After all, it is 74 degrees. It's not bad. That's... <laughs> That's so weird. I was just vlogging with the intention of trying to keep it less than 10 seconds because I was just Snapchatting before I did this. Anyway, um, if you guys are not following me on Snapchat, why not? I would really appreciate it. It's at David DeFranco. It's right below. Actually, if you just go to my Facebook profile, facebook.com slash David DeFranco, my Snapchat uh, snap ID or whatever they call it is my profile picture on Facebook. So make it happen, I appreciate it. Lunch is served. Oh, that looks good, that looks good. For once, I put the taco sauce in the bottom, which is why you probably even say it. Cheers to a productive Friday and a fun weekend. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I love tacos. They like set something off in you. It's just incredible. Excellent. I'm done. Well, obviously, this is the rough draft. I'm gonna do some proofreading now. And by the way, my original point still stands in saying that I'm more focused and productive on my iPad Pro when it comes to writing. I'm just so focused, but with this, I'm so distracted. Yes, it's a blank desktop right now, but I'm always so tempted to open up Apple Music and whatever, but with this, boom. Just saying, if you're looking to focus more and you are considering an iPad Pro, go for it. Now, you'll definitely want to get the smart keyboard as well, which is not cheap, uh, but I can honestly say the combo, it's worth it, especially if you're serious about content creation. And this, yeah, I'm pretty damn serious about this stuff nowadays. This is easily the most focused I've ever been with a website, and I love it. And that's possible for a variety of reasons. One, it's personal branding, the Franco University. You can never ever get tired of your own personal brand. And number two, I've told myself to remain on schedule, remain focused, do not fall behind. There's no excuse for it. I get triggered just thinking about it. But David, you're doing it. You're doing it. You're doing it. Well done. And even though I was at Driftwood last weekend, I should have fallen behind, right? No, not really, because I typed up a shorter than usual article for today. But hey, a shorter than usual article is better than no article at all. And as you can see, I just finished the rough draft for next week's article. So I'm still on schedule, ahead of schedule. Yeah, same thing in my eyes. All right, it's enough motivational words for today. I need coffee. By the way, I was thinking like, why the hell does my arm hurt? I was thinking, well, maybe I slept weird because I tend to toss and turn a lot. But no, my freaking shoulder hurts because I fell yesterday trying to do something it was a nasty fall too. I fell, twisted my ankle back, put it in the box, sent it back to Amazon because it was too small. But the larger version should be here today. Like hopefully soon, because I just want to unbox and show you guys. I'll probably fall again, so prepare yourselves. Please don't laugh too much. <sighs> my shoulder really does hurt. Hey Mal, what you doing? Yeah. And by the way, my tacos were excellent. Excellent indeed. And I still have leftover beef. So I'm gonna make a soft shell taco later. Maybe for dinner. I mean, I'm gonna milk these tacos as much as I can. But then again, I am tempted to make this. I'll probably wait till Monday. Since tomorrow I'm eating at Chris and Tiss. Wait, am I eating there? Yeah, we'll probably do meatballs or something. Then Sunday I'll be at the parental's house, so we'll have dinner there. So Monday, 
I'll have dinner here. Look at that, I'm planning my weekend dinners already. That's what I like to do. I'm a very scheduled kind of person. And distracted, apparently. I was making coffee. Damn it, David. And I still have some shopping on Amazon to do. Um, I have to buy coffee, a mini tripod, because I want one much, much better than this, and Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Oh, allow me to nerd gas them for a minute. Mirror's Edge, the first Mirror's Edge, was one of those games where it wasn't exactly huge because a lot of people hated the controls, but me, I absolutely loved Mirror's Edge, one of the most unique first-person titles I've ever played. Sure, it had its quirks with controls and whatever, but in my opinion, it, it was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And Mirror's Edge Catalyst comes out on Tuesday, I believe. Now, this is the thing. I'm a huge, huge fan of Mirror's Edge. I'm a huge gamer in general. Try not to get a silhouette. But I've made this very clear in the past, and I'm probably repeating myself, but in case you're new to this channel, I love gaming. It's a big, big part of my life. I try to play games every day if I have time. But nowadays, I don't get myself overly hyped for titles, meaning I don't do a lot of research. I kind of buy games with the instinct that I'll enjoy them. For instance, Halo 5. I got that for free from Microsoft, but I still bought it myself for like $80, the limited edition. I loved it. Multiplayer was fun, um, but it didn't hold my attention as long as I thought it would. And then there's Uncharted 4. I'm jumping ahead by like a few months, but that game I bought myself as well. Absolutely loved it. Uncharted 4 is just downright incredible. One of the best gaming experiences I've ever had. Then there's The Division. That's not a game I bought myself. I was fortunate enough to receive that as a gift from a viewer, so thank you so much. I, seriously, that's a really, really nice gift. The Division is good, but in my opinion, it's overhyped. I don't see what's so great about it. Now, I think it's a lot better than Fallout 4, because that's easily one of the most overhyped games I've played in my life, but I'm not gonna rant about that. But anyway, getting to my point, as I was trying to say earlier, I love gaming, it's still a big part of my life and it always will be, um, as, you know, as far as I can tell, but I don't get myself hyped that much because I don't want to be disappointed. I kind of buy games as I go, and if I love a game, then I love a game. Example, again, Uncharted 4. And if I don't like a game that much, then whatever, I've tried. So with Mirror's Edge Catalysts, I have barely done any research on the game, so it's mostly going to be a surprise for me. If it has the original Mirror's Edge formula, but in like a next-gen format, because I've heard it's open world, which could be interesting, then I'm sure I'll love it. So, there you go. Little clip for my gamers out there. Mirror's Edge Catalyst, I really hope it does not disappoint. And the same goes for Doom. I still need to buy Doom. But that's kind of put on hold because I didn't realize Mirror's Edge Catalyst was coming out so soon. I thought it was coming out in like maybe July or whatever. So, there you go. Oh, and by the way, I'm getting it on Xbox One. Because I currently have like, I think, two more PS4 games in my Xbox One collection. So I'm trying to balance out the two. And plus I stream on Twitch on Xbox One. So this means I can stream um, Mirror's Edge Catalyst on Twitch as well as Doom. Which I'll hopefully be buying soon as well. And then there's Overwatch for PS4. I've had people ask me if I'm buying that. Maybe, we'll see. It, it honestly doesn't interest me all that much. Um, but shout out to Danny Minnick. You were talking to me last night about Overwatch and you said it's amazing. So if I do get it, then I'll get that for PS4. That's what it's all about. Having both consoles, well, all three counting Wii U, but I don't consider it. More, more on that another day. Uh, but in terms of PS4 and Xbox One, I see no reason why you shouldn't own both. I mean, if you're able to afford both consoles, I highly encourage you to buy both consoles. There's no need to limit yourself. You know what I like to say, play anything and play everything. Because if you limit yourself, you're just gonna be missing out on some awesome experiences. Ah, uh, a new bag of coffee. You smell it, you smell it. Oh, it smells incredible. 5.15, still working. 
but I got a lot of work done. Check it out. This is the newest article, five ways to make your website's homepage more effective. A lot of time goes into this stuff, guys. A lot of time. I'm still patiently waiting for UPS to get here. It's freaking 619. I mean, I'm not going out tonight, so it's not a big deal. But still, it's kind of annoying. And I actually kind of prefer when Amazon uses the Amazon vans, you know, the creepy vans. You guys are usually here earlier. That's how my first item came this week. The first one of the second one I'm waiting for. I'm being very vague and for stupid reasons. It's not that big of a deal, but I'm excited about it. Anyway, I did just spend even more money on Amazon and part of it is a business expense. So I printed it out on Amazon. So what did I order? Well, first of all, I ordered 120 more K-Cups. Unfortunately, that cannot count as a business expense. I tried. I'm kidding. Sort of. Anyway, I also ordered a Manfrotto. Frotto? Um, a Manfrotto MT Pixie-B Pixie Mini Tripod. Apparently Manfrotto is like a really good tripod brand. I mean, I've heard of them before, but never really owned any of their products. Anyway, that cost $25. Not bad, and apparently the mini tripod's great. Now, it doesn't extend like this one does, and that's something I actually really like about this tripod. Uh, but the thing is, I don't trust it when I'm holding it like this, because it's kind of cheaply built. So the Manfrotto tripod will be used for this, holding the camcorder. But for the videos for when I want to get the clips and whatever at Driftwood, Seaside, wherever, um, where I want to set the tripod down on a table, then I'll continue to use this because again, it extends. So cool. Having the option is certainly good. And I also ordered Mirror's Edge Catalyst for Xbox One, which actually ended up saving me $12 because of Amazon Prime savings. So cool. Tripod, coffee, and a video game. Sounds like a good day on Amazon to me, right? Of course. Come on, ups. Where are you? Come on, ups. I'm patiently waiting here. And actually the item that I'm taking back to Amazon should still be sitting there. Yep, there it is. Waiting for UPS to pick it up. To take that one and drop off the new one. For some reason, UPS always seems to get here later on Fridays. I'm not sure why. It's okay, at least I got a lot of work done today. Like a lot of work done. I am very happy with what I got done today. That makes me happy. Very happy. If I say happy one more time. Email. How are you? Now I'm just killing time. <laughs> I love days like today. Even got my receipt for the one Amazon's taken back. Seamless process, you gotta love it. I love when stuff just works. That's how it should always be. All right, so what is this stuff? Didn't even know it was recording. Worst camera work ever. All right, this one I'm unboxing in its own video because I'm assuming it's not in its own box. That's how the first one was. The item's literally just sitting in there. There's no, there's no retail box, just plastic. But this one is what I think it is. Here we go, okay. It's a very, I don't know, it's like a dramatically big box. Extremely light, look at this. Extremely light. I guarantee you the box weighs more than what's in here. I think I told you guys already. But I got Chris. His birthday gift. I can't keep track of what I say in my vlogs anymore. Look at this angle. This camcorder is so nice. You're a keeper. Yes, you are. Unlike your fat ass AX53. No, 33, sorry. The 53 lost some weight. All right. Hey, man, new box. Enjoy. <laughs> no? Alright, give him time. So I ordered Chris. Jeez, I hate this kind of plastic. 
It feels nice, but I hate ripping it. So I ordered a Chris this. The Sima, Sima, Suma, Seaman, whatever. X5C. Same exact drone that I have. Although this has upgraded a version. That bothers me a bit. What do I have? I don't have the box anymore. But cool. Chris is going to love this. He is going to love this. If you guys don't have a drone yet, or a quadcopter, or whatever the frig you want to call it, just buy yourself one. Stop thinking about it. It's like $40. I guarantee you, you will love it. Just be smart about it. Don't fly it in the people. Don't fly it in the trees like I've done a couple times. Just have fun. Take your time because this is the easiest drone to use as like a beginner's drone. It's just so much fun. I cannot, the camera sucks, but not gonna lie there, but I don't care about the camera. I just care about flying it. So I'm gonna wrap this in Christmas wrapping paper sometime tonight or tomorrow before I leave. That's scared me. There was like a reflection on my glasses. I thought something was flying at me. Okay, cool. I will wrap that later. Maui, don't open that. Although, hold on. Let me do a sneak preview of this. Jesus. No, Jesus isn't in this box. I'm just amazed at the size. Let me see. Yep. Just like the first one, it's just sitting in there. Okay, so I'm gonna do a separate unboxing video right now, and then I might show you guys what's in I'm, I'm kidding, obviously I'm gonna show you. What the hell was that? Something just fell. Oh, sorry Rick Grimes. You were really loud, Jesus. Rick Grimes, you're a bit dramatic, don't you think? Anyway, there you have it. Yes, my first ever penny nickel board. I'm excited. Now, let me go into the sunroom and explain to you my situation. Okay, so it's a bit dark. This is what happened. I was so excited to get my penny board, which came on actually yesterday, Thursday. God, Amazon is so fast. So I was trying it out. I was like, okay, this is cool. Really freaking tough, by the way. Tough as hell. As I said, I fell. It hurt. Um, and I was like, okay, David, it's fine. It's fine. It's simply going to take some time to perfect over time, right? That's redundant. Time over time. Much better lighting. Look at that. So then you guys chimed in on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you, by the way. Saying, David, you should have gotten a penny nickel board. It's larger and easier for beginners. So I was like, eh, it's okay. I'll keep the penny board and I'll get a nickel board as well. And I'll kind of start with the nickel board. And as I get better, I'll graduate to the penny board. But then I saw the nickel board was $100. And the penny board, I paid like 80 for mine. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna let that money go to waste. I paid Amazon the return fee. It was like $15 for Amazon to pick it up. I mean, for UPS to pick it up, which is ridiculous in my opinion. Considering they were dropping one off, they could've just picked it up for free, but that's beside the point, whatever. So I ordered the nickel board last night. It shipped last night and got here today. Amazing. So this is gonna be my new thing. I'm gonna try my best to learn this without falling. And I'm actually gonna learn this in the sunroom. That way I don't fall like I did over there in my office. My God, that hurt. But um, I figured in here, there's a lot of friction on the carpet. So this isn't gonna move all that much. This is my perfect opportunity to practice balance, practice movement, and just practice the basics. So there you have it. I am extremely, extremely excited about this. Uh, I cannot wait to take it to Driftwood and Seaside and all that stuff. My goal with this is, like my ultimate dream, is to cruise down to the bay on it. That would be nice. This camera's not too fast at white balance adjustments. That's okay, I'll let it slide. Um, but obviously, please keep in mind, I have so much to learn. So much to learn. This is brand new territory for me. But it's just another skill. There's no reason why I can't learn this. So... It's going to be an interesting adventure. 
I walk back and forth a lot when I vlog. It's just what I do. And I'm back in the sunroom. Anyway, if you guys are curious about this nickel board or even the first penny board that I bought, I will link both of those right below on Amazon. Check them out, because for now, I'm gonna practice a bit. All right, so I've been practicing my balance out here for a little bit. I know it's not completely realistic at all because grass is a completely different terrain uh, when compared to sidewalks and concrete or whatever I'm gonna be skating on. But I think it's perfect to uh, practice on. I mean, obviously I can't move much, but I know what your left foot or right foot, for me it's the left because I'm right, right-handed. Um, your foot has to face forward, right? Then you get on, and then you kind of turn it so it's facing the same way. I think you can even see me. Let me move back a little bit. So yeah, foot facing frontwards, right foot this way, then turn, and then glide. Balancing isn't hard. Again, I'm digging into the grass, so it's obviously going to be a lot easier than, you know, the street or whatever. But, yeah. I think I get the hang of this. I'm just practicing getting on. See? I've gotten a lot better at that part. I mean, it's not hard at all, but I don't have the best balance. And honestly, I think that's what it comes down to. Because this YouTube video I was watching, this this guy or this girl, I forget who it was, I watched like 10, 10 videos already. Um, they were saying it honestly comes down to balance. If you have good balance, then you can skateboard. I'm a little nervous, because if you fall out there on the concrete, it's going to hurt. And I don't have a helmet or anything like that. So, for now I'll start out slow. See, I got, I got that down. That's not hard at all. Of course, I'm getting it dirty, <laughs> which bothers me a little bit. But, uh, yeah. I'll clean it. That's one of the downsides of going with white, is that um, it's gonna get dirty easily. And if I like this enough, then I'll buy another design eventually. This could be a new hobby of mine, who knows? All right, so this is where I'm practicing actually moving. Obviously the carpet, the uh, friction of the carpet is gonna be much more rough than a sidewalk. But it's practice for me to move and maintain my balance. I'll get better. I'll get better. It's gonna take some time. I'd much rather practice here than outside and make a fool of myself. But instead I'm doing it in front of thousands of people on YouTube. No biggie, right? No biggie. That wasn't bad. See, I just wish I could keep rolling. Oh God. Jesus. <laughs> God. I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Start out slow, David. Oh God. That's the second time I hit that knee. I'm all right. When do you say we stop there for now? I'm getting hungry, I'm gonna have dinner soon. Oh cool, by the way. This thing is quality, like it is solid. It's very nice. Stay tuned for more. <sighs> I know I suck. But look at this thing, it just wants to roll. That's crazy. Well, I couldn't resist. I had to come in here and try it because this area rug, look, less friction, but not as bad as my sunroom. So, I can actually get some movement in here, and if I fall, I try to fall onto the sofa. And I've gone back and forth a few times. I think I'm getting better. See? I'm getting there. 
my living room, I mean, my uh, office was a bad idea the first time I tried. Incredibly slippery floor. Baby steps. That's all it is, baby steps. Huh. Not my best one yet. knock something over in my bedroom on my shelf that's great I'm not gonna be moving that much in here so this isn't the best practice room but it's decent and please ignore the random socks it actually gets you all worked up oh cuz it's a little warm in here too good shut that window and I'm also gonna look up balance exercises just, just to try to improve my balance in general. Because I definitely want this to work out. I do. I really, really want it to work out. And plus, come on, I spent $100. So I want it to be worth it. A wild Maui sighting. Right there. See him? Maui. Come on, Mal. Playing some GTA. My God. I probably haven't played in like a month of camping and Kristen's wedding and all that stuff and I've been playing Uncharted 4. Well, I haven't played Uncharted 4 in a while, but I was playing it before. Speaking of Uncharted, here it is. I'm taking it to Chris and Tiff's house tomorrow. I'm gonna let Chris borrow it. Um, anyway, gonna make coffee, playing GTA with the peeps. Uh, actually, I'll go use the other mug again. I have sink issues. I have to unclog it. I'm gonna look into that tomorrow. Well, this needs refilling. I'm looking forward to tomorrow night and get my strong bow on. It's gonna chill the friends by the fire. It's gonna be fun. It's going to be a great night. Hey. Hey, Mal. You were so cute. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Don't ever change. Boy meets world. Good morning, guys. Happy freaking Saturday. Or should I say, happy Catterday. Don't be weird, David. Don't be weird. All right, today's agenda. Make coffee. That's always number one on my list. Number two. Should I catch? You probably did, I was out of frame. Monetize the vlog. Do not want to get hit with the copyright. It's so bright in here. You know what? Let's go outside. It's probably nice out. Eh, a little humid, a little humid. It's okay. So today's agenda, make coffee. That's not really part of my agenda. It's an automatic. Uh, number two. God, I thought that was a tick on my foot. Um, start editing this vlog. Yes, I'm going to get a head start on editing this vlog because I'm going to my parents' house tomorrow. Um, I'm staying the night at Crescent Tiff's house tonight. Never ever drink and drive. It's one of the stupidest things that you could do, and selfish. I know I say that a lot, but I take that quite seriously. So yeah, today I'm gonna edit the vlog, relax for a bit, watch Lost, try to get some siege in, go to the party around seven. It's not a huge party. It's our usual closely knit um, group of friends, which is fine. Um, I'll be going to the liquor store on the way to get some Strongbow. Don't wanna yell yet. Oh. It is, it is quite warm out here. I'm wearing my black Godzilla shirt, uh, shirt, so that doesn't help. David, learn to speak. You're 30 years old. So yeah, drinks, parties, games, lost. That's basically my agenda today, I'm chilling. Except for editing the vlog, because I'm not gonna have much time tomorrow. Uh, because I might go straight from Chris and Tiff's house to my parents' house, I'm not sure yet. I think I'd rather come back here because, I don't know, they should be back from Driftwood by 1 o'clock-ish. Maybe I'll come back here. It makes more sense. It's so freaking close. Yeah, I'll come back here. I'm just arguing with myself now. Then I'll go to my parents' house. Um, I'm just going to hang out. 
because my dad's gonna look at my car. We're gonna try to fix that AC issue. For some reason, the AC compressor turns off on the highest setting, setting four. But then when you're on settings one, two, and three, the AC light is on, but I get no air whatsoever. But heat works perfectly fine. So I'm getting warm air on only setting four and nothing else on settings one through three. I've been doing some research. Apparently I have to discharge the battery, um, kind of take the plugs off the battery and have it sit there for like five minutes idle. I don't know. That kind of resets everything because I think it's the ECU because this started happening after I got my battery replaced at Pet Boys. Now that's my own fault because I waited until my battery died like an idiot. I'm not that great with car management. I'm not gonna lie. Hey Mal. So yeah, I mean, I've been doing my research. Apparently that could be an easy fix. My dad already looked at the fuses. The fuses are perfectly fine. And then the other possible fix is replacing the resistor related to the ECU. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm not a car guy. I just like how cars look and sound. So we'll see, hopefully that works. If not, then I'll take it in for service. I really hope I don't have to take it in for service. Even though next week I'm probably going for an oil change so the timing kind of works out. I don't know. What do you guys think? Has that happened to you? If so, please let me know right below or email me. That's probably easier. Mm, all of a sudden it's shady and nice out. Anyway, if you do want to email me, go to my personal website right below in the video description. Click on contact on, on my website and then get in touch with me, please. I would really, really appreciate it. I'd rather fix the problem myself than pay hundreds of dollars to some mechanic. Just saying. All right, I didn't expect to talk about cars, but there you go, that's what's great about these vlogs. You never know what to expect. Maui, be careful, Godspeed, and wrap it. All right, coffee time. Now that I'm all warm, let's keep the cool air in here, shall we? Yes, yes. All right, time to eat breakfast and start editing. See you guys in a bit. Hey, Mal. What you doing? All right, I am all caught up on the vlog. You guys should be right around 50 minutes or so. And now it's time to wrap Chris's gift in Christmas wrapping paper, because why the hell not? Maui, I'm not wrapping you. You're staying here. Aw, did you see his foot slip? That was cute. You're so cute. You're so cute, here. Get my hand. Take my strong hand. Here go key. Really? That's a bit dramatic. You're so good. You know, I don't mind a cool house, but that air is loud. Thankfully, it just shut off. It's not vlog friendly. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna wrap this um, and enjoy some coffee. Watch some Lost, maybe squeeze in a few matches of Siege, and then leave around seven. Good times ahead. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog, because as always, I don't feel comfortable throwing the camera into friends' faces at, at, at these parties. I mean, like, Seaside in my house and whatever, that's kind of different. But we'll see. I'll try to get a few clips for you guys, especially shots. We will be taking shots. What's up, dude? Up. Holy shit, Snake. <gasps> yes! I got it on camera. No, fuck Oh, did you see the snake at Drift on I, I uh, found? I, I saw the picture, yeah. Huge, huge snake. Josh, like, oh my god, snake! Snake! Night vision, look. Where'd it go? Isn't that cool? Oh, nice. Stop looking at my boobs. I'm looking at your boobs. Boobs. <laughs> even, even though you have a regular t-shirt on? I really hope the snake comes out and attacks me. Where'd it go? It attacks you. <laughs> Feed me. It's a nice drink of choice. Strong bow. And a crack right behind her. A branch fell from about 30 feet up. Yeah. And landed really right behind her. Big. Big asshole. <laughs> <laughs> just right behind me. That's great. Asshole. I've had two drinks already. Wah. Hi, Penny. <laughs> I'm not drunk. But I did just take you guys in, into the bathroom with me. Don't know why. It's pretty cool, I was talking to Chris and Josh before about skateboarding. They've boarded in the past like years ago, so it's cool to have someone to relate to about that. 
Alright, I, I really gotta go. By the way, I will be getting drunk tonight, so stay tuned. It's gonna get crazy. Okay, I don't know about crazy, but it's gonna get interesting. Get Hold on, can you start again? So Not that this is scripted. <laughs> decided to get ho ho paper. Oh, yeah. Instead of birthday paper. Apparently, it's Christmas in June. Merry Christmas, dude. Thanks. Christmas is all No, 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 it's fine. Make up your mind. Best balance. gift ever. It's your no, white balance. Look, you, you, you brought out the taco dip, little oh, fat ass. And it's right next to me. Yeah, the table and, and everything. You stick your balls in it. <laughs> I think you'll like this. Oh, oh shit. Right? I don't have to buy one. Exactly. Yup, Tim was telling That's me. That's why I told you don't Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That's the same one I have. Sweet. It's excellent. Good, now I can use the points to buy Now I get to crash stuff. this one and not yours and feel bad about it. See? Dude, you were so nervous last weekend. I was You're nervous. like, here, take it back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did. I, I can't fly. I, I tried to hardest to get to the ground. I was like, here, take it. I don't want it anymore. Fuck your ho-ho paper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she was in there. Yay. In success? No, it wasn't. <laughs> He's like, I didn't want to get you money for another money truck. Huh? I didn't want to get you money for another truck. You have like 15 uh, trucks. I do you. want another truck. Thank you. you don't need another truck. You need thank a drone. You. Thank, thank you. Right? Yeah, thank thank you. you. This is still good though. I like that. Yeah, it's good. I'm glad. 16 fucking trucks and toast to twisted tea to that. Yes. Ooh, am I am I getting the other gifts on camera? It's up to you. I don't care. Well, we okay. Well, well you can one. open Josh's now. Good. That's a sweet it's bag. Sex. Yeah, we're keeping that bag. That's a cool bag, Josh. Brim, brim. Exactly. There's cans in here. Good song. Ooh, Ecto Cooler. Kid Rock. <gasps> we were talking about that last night. Yeah, we were. And now I want some. some. You got one in there for you, one for Tiff. I ain't gonna say it. I was gonna say I ain't gonna say it. Sweet. I'll drink it. <laughs> no, you won't. It's a thong. A thong. It's a really big thong. <laughs> it's a really big, I know. <laughs> Slip cannot. Sweet. Slip cannot. What size do you get? That's a cool shirt. They should know by it. It looks like the yeah. fetus in uh, PT. No. Wait, it looks like There's PT, doesn't there? it? There? It there? looks like PT, oh. dude. Remember the fetus in the sink? That's what I think of. Oh, yeah. <gasps> the popo just went by. <laughs> They're all in the us. There's one more thing in there. A dildo? That is really sweet. Cowboy, bear, bear. This is like a high school song. I'll show you the tickets. Yep. And for what? You son of a biscuit eating bulldog. <laughs> um, Slipknot. Way to one on me, Josh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I thought my gift was so cool. Then you get him tickets. <laughs> um, That's cool, though. It's nice of you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. This is the worst song ever. Happy birthday to you! Worst song ever. <laughs> you smell like shit. Names and <laughs> 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 I expect fire. No <laughs> I'm in the thing, gazebo. Get in the cage, bitch! Get in the cage! <laughs> it's so low! Get low, get, get low. Get in your low. cage! Oh, Josh, welcome. Josh, Rugrats. Oh <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what that was. It's like a gorilla or something. Hello, my name is Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. I'm just kidding. <laughs> pay attention oh, to your hell. kids, right? Fuck Damn yeah. it, do it. Just pay attention to your kid. Don't let him get eaten by a gorilla. Him. What? You, Chris? <laughs> I'm on my knees. Steve it. They were. Would you like me to oh, do it? I love Galaxy Quest. Alan Rickman. Ew, on camera? Oh, I own oh, you. Yeah, it's you're, right. you're taking a shot without them? That's rude. What do you mean? By, I know. Selfish son of a bitch. Hold on. Yeah, Tev, do me. <laughs> Fuck about time. No, I'm just kidding. About time. Flip it around. No. What a hoe. Dude, she was a hoe. Gee, she's she like a show. It's like a straight up rim job. <laughs> You're used to rim jobs. I would never give a rim job. I'm not into. Josh is right now. Looking. Are you into that? No. You poop out of there. No shit. 
Literally. Literally. <laughs> Cheers to that. Why does it take you guys forever to do a damn shot? <laughs> it takes me like five minutes of my stream, you notice that? Yes. Cheers to Chris's birthday. To turning 21. Cheers to me being old as fuck. 95. 96. And a half. Windows Nine 95. and three quarters. That's so easy. Did I just throw it in? No. Save it, Justin. <laughs> Shit. It I bounced out, we're good. <laughs> David, you oh, fucked hard! You sizzled, you bitch! You told me to throw it in! No, I didn't. Guys, you can throw them in, I don't care. <laughs> that's, that, that's easier than fireball. Of course it's easier than fireball. I thought my face was in a little fire. <laughs> no, if you actually spit out alcohol, it would. I did he did. Somehow. What the fuck? That's wasting amaretto. I feel weird. The candy liquor. <laughs> the candy liquor? Yeah. Why? That's rum cum chata. I don't like rum cum chata. <laughs> rum cum chata? What's wrong with you? Damn you! What? Yes, you do! Eh. It's like it's Cinnamon Toast Crunch when you combine it with a. Uh, oh, that's a creepy. Side. What was it? I feel so hot and sexy. When right you now. combine rum cum chata with what? <laughs> fireball? Fireball, yeah. So you get yeah, fireball rum cum yeah. chata. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's good. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I remember. Lucky Charms. <laughs> oh, God. God, I got some on my, I always get some on my chin. <laughs> Why is my belly sticking? Did you open my bottle? <laughs> I yes, stomach. I did. Oh, oh I bought Vans today. I didn't tell you. You what? You bought skateboarding vans. shoes? I bought Vans, yeah. Have you well, ever... one, for my board, and two, because I needed new shoes anyway. Have you, ever, have you ever bought Vans before? I or think... skater shoes? Yeah, I've had those like flash shoes before. I, I love, that's all I, that's all I buy. They're nice. I love them. <laughs> I love them, but they got really muddy one day because I went in a field and I got sucked in the mud. <laughs> I got <laughs> sucked in the mud, really? I just, I just didn't clean them. <laughs> what did Josh just do? Go to pixelate them? He's being a sexy fuck, that's what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, I was. He really was. There's like, <laughs> <laughs> like It's so hot. Wait, the funny thing is, is I accidentally zoomed in. I didn't realize I was touching the button. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize the zoom button was so touchy. Isn't that a big camera? Hi, Penny. Ready? Look, you can see yourself. <gasps> Who's that? Kenny? Say hi. Yeah, she kind of can. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're Blind obsessed stare. with yourself. <laughs> she is. She is you're so very cute. egotistical. Little little chair. Narcissist. We'll get along great then. Yeah, I know. I'm obsessed with myself, guys. Yes, you are. I'm a bodybuilder. What the fuck? I don't know what that has to do with it. You're a plumber? Oh, my booty got warm. Cat person, whatever the freak you said you were. I'm a catfish. Catfish. They're not. Cat yeah, person? Expert. What? Cat expert. Cat expert, thank you. Tiff's a cat person. It's like, what? What's a cat person? It's like half cat, half human. Cat dog. Fire. Cat dog was great. Right? It puts the cat right yeah. on me. Have you, seen the, have you seen the me. fucking Ren and Stimpy thing with it? Like, the saw? Yeah. Yes. He realizes it like the moment you realize Oh, he yeah, and he's like, humping him? Or no, yeah. With yeah, that's saw? great. Oh, Freaking Nickelodeon. Yeah, I never saw Bunch of perverts. Why does that I mean, always pop up? I was just watching sports. What's the fun? Look at that night vision. Isn't that cool? Your eyes kind of glow. Shit. I love that feature. Shit. IR. You don't even know what IR stands for. In real life. <laughs> <laughs> That's IRL. <laughs> Infrared. Infrared, you fucking I know. A fucking noob. Fucking tarred muffin. <laughs> so much language in this vlog. I apologize. Viewers. Get the fuck out of here. Twat waffle. Stop I watching. never curse off camera. Yeah, oh fucking K. <laughs> <laughs> what? Did you have to put that in there? Yes, I had to emphasize the K. <laughs> you guys should hear me in GTA. I say ungodly things. And you scream like a little bitch. I did. Well, I crashed into a wind turbine. One that's not spinning. It's stationary and you still crashed into it. It was spinning. No, it was wasn't. It was not. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look at the fire night vision. Look at the effect. Isn't that crazy? I guess the way the light bounces. Hey, what is that? Hi, Dinky. Is that a <laughs> they never turn it off. Hey. Penelope. Boom. Penelope. 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 Diana said, pierce your nipples. I don't know why my shirt's off. Pierce it with fire. Chris asked me to take my shirt off. No. Pierce it with, oh, damn Shout out to Kelsey. They asked me to take my shirt off from the Facebook live stream. Oh. So I did. Cause you're a fucking whore. I am a whore sometimes. 
David, they're all asking you to put your shirt back Stop. on. Stop! That's dangerous! The Mary cops are here. The cops are 10. here. Are they really? No, but someone just pulled up. Keith. Is that Keith? Oh, God. He's oh, gonna my shirt off. <laughs> I'm going to get my shirt off for him. All right? <laughs> just just go run up to him like, Keith, they're here! They're like, they're scare, go, go, scare, go, go. scare him, scare him, scare him. No, he knows we're out here. Go fucking... Go it's, it's too dark. You won't cold. see. Hold on, I got my night vision. Are, are the fresh Tostitos better? Hi, Keith. Oh, hey. I'm nude for you. Do you like this? Yeah, I have a little too many pants on to be nude for me. I'm nude with pants on. I'm nude. <laughs> what up, dude? Did you get a little more nude? Get caught the fuck up here. <laughs> you get here at 2 in the morning. Look at this. This is what it's all about. <laughs> Why are you drinking like that? Like it's a cigarette. <laughs> Where's that bag? Not as far as I know. All the way over there. Oh, trip, you retard. Fire's hot. Are you, are you seriously filming? Don't, like... Yo, it's Penny's channel. Oh. <laughs> You're <laughs> such an asshole. You just put it back up. It's fine. Yeah, you broke it. Pay for a new one. <laughs> Brick is oh a my chair. god, dude. That's like a $150 chair. You really chair. did. Is it really? Yes. No. I, I can vouch. It is $150. Yeah, he was there when we got it. $3. <laughs> and $22. All right, you guys are going in the bag. Chris, Chris is getting a knock. Just. I've been obnoxious, dude. I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> what? I'm so awake right now. I'm fucking tired. We should play Mortal Kombat XL2. XL2? <laughs> they have a second one? <laughs> There's a sequel, Keith. Trust me. We should play Uncharted 5. Oh, I, I, I got an early release. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Brad is from the future, guys. Why? What did he say? It's Sunday at 5 p.m. Oh, is that Brad in, in, in Australia? It's yeah. Sunday here, too, just not 5 p.m. Is this true? <laughs> Keith, you had to jump, jump the trump ball again, okay? Again? On video, yeah. It was so no, it's, loud. It's your fucking turn. Come on, please. It's your turn. I can't jump that. It's tall as hell. Go. I think you're taller than me, asshole. Trump wall, go. I don't think I can do it. It's so loud. Babe, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The neighbors are going to call the cops on us. Who cares? Do it. I had to you fix could, it. Like, see through it. That was crazy. Uh, All right, no. Are you serious? Do not break that fence. I'm not Come on, get that. Nope. It was so loud. <laughs> You're so fat. It was so funny. Oh my god. Uh, it's 3 30. We're still up. Uh, why are you wearing my hat? Why am I so zoomed in? I return home. I am indeed alive. I got drunk last night. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna lie. Ugh. I need to fix the friction of that door. It's too, too tough. Anyway, yes, awesome party last night. I'll be getting drunk again next weekend and the following weekend weekend because next weekend's the hangout. Then the following weekend, I found out we're going back to Driftwood too. Yes, can't wait. Ah, and then the whole week of Seaside, I'll be drinking. Do not follow me as an example. Protect your liver. Nah, it's okay. Drink up, have fun. Just as long as you're safe. Never ever drink and drive. Okay, yeah, but yeah, awesome times. Chris is gonna love his drone, and shout out to Tiff for making us pancakes this morning. That was very, it's very nice of you, Tiff. Okay, so I need to get showered because I look like Kaka, still wearing the same clothes I was last night. If you know what I mean. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just fell asleep in my clothes. I'm gonna get my shower. I feel blech, but I feel good, like health-wise. I'm not hungover. I know my limits. I know my limits. Hey, Mal. Hi. How are you? You're very vocal right now. Mal, Mal. There's something on you, Mal. You're so cute. Speaking of cute, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Penny is one cute freaking baby. Just the way that her hair hangs on in front of her face, I just, I just think it's adorable. And she's crawling and she's standing now. It's crazy. She's gonna be one in July. Oh, David, back up. It's hot as hell in there. Not that I've been to hell, but I imagine it's hot in hell. For the record, I don't believe in hell. I don't, come on, I, I, I don't. That's my own personal belief. I have a loose belief in heaven, but hell, no, 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 no. Although, it is very curious to think if there is an afterlife. I guess we'll never know until we actually die. That's the only part that sucks. But I don't know. I'm more of a factual person than faith nowadays. But I believe in fate over faith. Like everything happens for a reason. Let's not get too deep. Let's enjoy coffee. Make today a somewhat productive day. 
not gonna lie, I'm not gonna do too much today, although I will be editing this vlog right now to get even more of a head start because I'll be going to the parental's house in probably like a few hours for, for dinner. We're getting Chinese food. Oh, I love Chinese food. If you ever want to find your way to my heart, it's Chinese food. Chicken and broccoli, sweet and sour chicken, spicy shrimp, love it. Freaking love Chinese food. And I'm gonna try to squeeze in some siege before I go. We'll see that, we'll see. By the way, did I mention that I took apart my sink yesterday, the pipes? Because I have a clog uh, issue. It's a double sink, first of all, and the water refuses to go down. I mean, it goes down, but very, very slowly. So I've been doing a lot of research and I tried a snake, that didn't work. I tried Drano like twice, that didn't work. It may have helped a little bit, but it didn't work. Um, so I figured I'd finally take the pipes apart and look in the P-trap for some gook, like rice, grease, or whatever. That's, I don't know, the most common backups, apparently. And the pipes were perfectly fine. I mean, I found a knife in there, two knives, a plastic knife and a metal knife. I laughed when I saw that. I was like, what the f freaking knife is in my pipe it must have like fallen down the drain like at a 90 degree angle which is pretty funny but uh yeah so i couldn't find the clog so i think it's at the very bottom so i'm gonna drain the water again through the pipes in into a pot and i got some baking soda and vinegar this is my last resort if this doesn't work then i'll have to look into hiring a plumber which i do not want to do i do not want to do that I like to try to do things myself, if possible, but I'll try that later. Let's edit, enjoy my coffee, and recover. Move, portal turrets. You're in the way of my big-ass camcorder. Close that door so the cool air stays in. Terrible lighting, but it's gonna have to do, all right? All right? Actually, watch this. This will help. It might. That looks worse, you dumbass. All right, it doesn't matter. It doesn't freaking matter. It's a vlog. Shout out to casecrown.com. You guys treat me very well. Let's just say that. Now, um, in this bag, I believe, are two products that I will be reviewing in the near future. A little Assassin's Creed, dude. Um, but they also wanted me to give a shout out to their brand new website launching this week. So go to casecrown.com. I will link them right below and check it out. Now, as a fellow graphic designer and web designer, I'm very curious to see the new design. It is always a very exciting time when you roll out something brand new. Ugh. All right, so in here, oh, Case Crown, I love you guys. They're like seriously up there in my favorite manufacturers. Look at this. This is a personalized envelope. Incredible. That's how you do business. Hold on, put you right there instead. There you go, that's a little better. Seriously, Case Crown, impressive. All right, hi David. Thank you for all the amazing reviews in the past, and thank you for once again partnering up with Case Crown. Hope you like the new products, Cindy. Cindy, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. Okay, but to the more exciting part, this is the Bold Standby Pro for the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. That looks really nice, actually. I think this matches the material of my other Case Crown uh, case. And this, I believe is another MacBook Pro bag, but slimmer. Let's open it. Let's open it. Oh, this is nice. Yo, check out that zipper. That is really, really nice. Case crown, guys, well done. Actually, I have my MacBook Pro right here. Ooh, look at this. Little pockets that come off the buttons magnetically. That is neat. Is this for SD cards? I don't know what it's for. I guess you can use them for a variety of things. That is really, really nice. And in here, we have a little, a little slip for cables. Oh, that's right. 
this is a cable bag. This is meant for cables, I believe. Uh, because they emailed me last week asking if I wanted to get my hands on this. And they said it's mainly focused on transporting your cables, which is awesome. I mean, I don't see why you can't put your MacBook Pro in here. I mean, it would probably fit just fine. Let me try it. Nah, actually, my hard drive's connected. All that stuff for Final Cut Pro 10. But cool. Definitely stay tuned for future coverage on this, as well as the um, Bold Standby Pro. Boom. Case ground. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And I will email you guys shortly. What? Rude. What? You just took over my car. I had to vlog, Mom. That was a good song. How are you? Yeah. I'm good. How are you? Good. How was you camping? Look, you look great. Thank you. Camping was great. The campground looked a lot like Chris and Tiff's house. Interesting. Fascinating. Did you have fire? <gasps> Did you see the lightning? No. The big... You was didn't, you didn't see that flash? I don't know if it caught it. No, I, I mean, it's... Where was it? In it front is, of us? It is 60 for... <gasps> right up ahead. Oh. Look! It's not even Look, raining here yet. It's raining in front of us, but it's not raining. Here we go. Should we stop? We're going in. That, that was cool. Weird. Caught on camera. Oh, I can't see. Dang. Okay, I really can't This see. is a bad storm, guys. We're getting hit hard. Oh, severe, right? The severe, today. they said? Yeah. Oh, that was look cool. At the trees. Oh, God. That's far freaking out. Oh, wow. God, I can't even see. Take care, Samad. Oh. That tree might come down. Oh, my God. Oh, tree down on the left. Look. <gasps> Oh my Dang, God. that just happened. What should we do? Just keep going. You're I'm fine. Scared. Just the watch the trees. Down. Just watch the trees. Ooh. Watch the trees. They're should good. Should over with these people where there's no trees? Watch out for this little one Ooh. on the right. Oh All right, God. we're good. Should I pull over with these people? No, just keep going. It's wide open up there. Oh my God, David. I can't, I can't see. Take your time. Take your time. There you go. Now it's a little break. Never mind. I'm going to break my ass. I can't even see the circle. I know. Sorry, I'm freaking out. Okay, what do I do? I know there's a circle around here somewhere. That's scary. That is scary. It came out of nowhere. I don't know if I want to go down. Look at the sign. I know. The, the, the sign, that sign okay, is going to come down. Do? Just take I your time on the circle. Move. Take your time. I can't see. Now, you can see the lights. I can't. All right, just wait. Actually, go ahead. No, wait. Yeah, you're good. Oh my god. We can pull over in the race parking lot. We're good. Let's take your time. This is all on camera. Something goes wrong. Insurance. That tree in Swedesboro? That, that cable's dangling. Was that from that? I know. I didn't see it come down, but it must have just happened. I know. Well, we saw it coming. It was on top of the truck. Watch out for these trees on your left, Mom. Go. Oh god, there's branches. Alright. Oh god, what do I do? We're in the clear. Go to raise? Yeah. I'm like freaking out. I'm getting out of the car, are you? I don't want to get down the road. Oh, it's like that? Yeah. Hello? We lost that one. Oh my god, it's bad. We out saw here. the tree come down. We saw a tree come down in Sweetsboro. I'm pulled over at Ray's. Everybody's pulled over. You can't even see. Hey, I'm getting ready. I'm not working. I just happened to look at it and the red light came and the battery's dead. Everybody's Dang. pulled over and raised where there's no trees. It was oh, terrible. their power's out too. Look, Ray's oh, is out. Ray's is out. The whole place is out. The whole strip. Dang. I hope our food's done. It should be, right? Your food should be done. This is really exciting. Do you think it's ready? It probably didn't get ready. It was just a pizza steak. But we have our food if you want to eat now. No. Seriously. Well, I want to see if Dad's is ready. I want to get it. Yeah. Should we park over there under the awning? Yeah, go for it. Anyway, I, I wanted to talk to you guys. I rarely buy clothes, but my skateboard inspired me to buy myself a bunch of things. Are you ready for this, Mom? Yes. First, I bought a pair of Vans, new shoes. Oh, thank the Lord Jesus. Skating shoes. Well, because one, I needed new shoes, and two, um, apparently Vans are best for skating, I guess because they're flat. Are they staying near the building because it's safer? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. That was crazy before. That was, David, I couldn't see. We're caught on the see. vlog. The tree may have come down on the vlog. I just didn't notice because we couldn't see it. But I'll, I'll be watching. Is there a car behind us? Are we good? Um, anyway, I, I bought Vans. I bought three graphic tees. One is a big American flag. Another one says, that's what. And then she. Get it? That's what she said. And then it says, and then I have another one that says, guess what? It's a giant chicken arrow pointing to its butt. Chicken butt. Isn't that great? 
<laughs> and I bought two pairs of shorts, one camo, like this, but like white. Oh, nice. And another, I don't know. Amazon? Yeah, well, the yeah, yeah, shoes were Zappos, which is technically nice. owned by Amazon. What color are your vans? Navy blue. Nice. Went with something different for once. Good job. Thank you. It, it's just a big deal to me because I rarely buy clothes. All right, you, you want to you wanna try a race? Do you want to run in and see it's if it's ready? Right? Or should we do it together? What, what's our number? 63? The rain's actually really not that bad right now. You can go ask. We're not going to ask on the vlog. On no. I'll update you guys. I don't want to get out though. You have at least no. Oh, do I have an umbrella? I'm going to look hot in oh, Seaside. You have an umbrella. I'm getting those. Oh, by the way, I'm giving even more clothes away to Goodwill. Oh, good. Me too. I filled like, what, one or two okay, bags before? Right, let's go. No, you can talk. No, no, no. I guess. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hunter. Justin, come here, Jess. Come here, baby. Come here. Oh. By the way, Ray's was dark. We went in there. They had some flashlights out. Hi, Dad. My washer? I did it. Shut oh, off. Because the battery for the generator is dead. Yeah, wow. guys, the generator's not working. We're screwed. So, yeah, that's the first time I was ever in a pizza place with the power out. They had flashlights. They had to bust open the register because it was down. Not bust open. I'm sure there was like some kind of alternative route or whatever. Uh, anyway, got Chinese food. We're going to eat now. Can't turn any lights on, so this is the best I can do. Actually, we might eat in the sunroom. All right, Mom, what'd you get besides your crab rangoon? Crab rangoon? Shrimp and cashews. Mmm, that looks banging. Ooh, look at the depth you of field. You got power, honey. Yes, the power. How'd you do it? The power just came back on. Generator. Or the generator. I was gonna show the light, but for some reason the light went out. Anyway, spicy shrimp. I love this. All those onions. It's so good, though. Also, a thing of rice. Yes, I'm having soda. I'm not proud of myself, but I'm limited on choices right now. Can you open that? Oh, yeah. White rice. Like my women. Do you want water from the camper? Nah, I'm okay. Thank you. Enjoy. I bought it. No, I didn't. No, you didn't. I did. Thank you, Mom. I did. But I bought coffee and tea. Yes, she did. I taste cakes. Mm, Hunter booty. Booty, 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 booty. It's the best kind of booty. Hunter booty? Jammy and booty, too. Jasmine, you should be a model. I mean, if you're not already. Come on, Jazz. 4, 8, 15, 16, 28, 32, totaling the 108. Lost. I really wish a plane would crash in our backyard. David, why would you say that? That'd be a great video. People would die, David. No, not you know, in Lost. What? You really wish people dead. No, I don't. I just said I wish a plane would crash. I didn't say I want people to die. I've just been watching a lot of Lost. If a plane crashes, people are going to die, David. Not in Lost. And Lost is real. Not real. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's real in Lost. I admit, I tend to say stupid things. But my intentions are good. They're all dead. Anyway, we watched... You watched. I fell asleep. Dinner for schmucks. How was it? I thought it was dinner with schmucks. Dinner for? I think it's dinner with. Yeah, Siri. Dinner for Schmuck. I hate that, I hate that iOS glitch. You are triggered. Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> you stupid. Idiot. I hate that I am a clutch. <laughs> what? <laughs> dinner for Schmucks. Why do you snort? Here's dinner for Schmucks. Thank you. Oh, uh, whatever. God, I love being right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get frisky? <laughs> it's around. <laughs> anyway, it was good. I, I mean, I've seen it before. I've seen it several times. And I was telling Dad, the movie... Sorry. The uh, movie would not be norm like nearly as good without Steve Carell. I love Steve Carell. He's such a great actor. Do you want to have sex with Steve Carell? I would if I were gay. But I don't think he's gay. So, we will never have each other. And if you're gay, I don't judge. How about that storm today? Oh, that storm was great. Anyway, um, there is a giveaway this weekend, guys. I'm going to make it very simple for you. I recently brought back the ask a question form, like, you know, the YouTube Q&A thing I had a while ago on my personal website. Go to davidefranco.com slash ask or slash forum. Same exact page. I just chose ask. That way, if you watch my old videos, it's still auto forward slash forum. Anyway, go to that page right below and post a question that you want to see me answer in a future YouTube video. This can be anything. About my watch? vlogs, my family, my branding, my business, anything. Um, I'm trying to bring back those questions. Just in case if I run out of video ideas, too, How's I can be like, a prize? hey, go to the forum. Anyway, 
Good question, mother. Good question. Thank you. You post a question, and I'll pick someone at random, worldwide, and I'll send you a twenty-five dollar Amazon gift card. Me. Nice and simple. Family is excluded, except yeah. except for Jamian. Jamian. Jamian, you can answer. Mom, I don't think she ever went down. So do that again. Are you serious? Come on, My Jazz. personal website go slash forum. Come on, Jazz, go post a question, and I'll pick somebody at random. I'm just trying to get the forum going, and that's the best way when I on, basically bribe you guys with free stuff. You don't like me for who I am. You just like me when I give away things. Duh. Duh. Come on, nah, Jazz, go pee pee. No, seriously, your support is awesome. Come on, Jazz, go pee pee. And with that said, I'm going to sign off. Come on. Mom, with any. That said, Jasmine's going to go pee pee. Any last words? I love you. Just kidding. Maybe I'll see you this week for Peace lunch. Out. For the Maybe. patrons only vlog? Maybe. We can do KFC. No. I am KFC'd out for like a oh. month. For a year. Now, okay. McDonald's, I'll do. Big Mac? I'm KFC now for a year. Go yeah, nice. the famous bowls are good, but they leave a really weird taste in your mouth for hours. Like, Jeez. it's nasty afterwards. Like, in, in the moment, it's amazing. The chicken's actually really crispy. All right, this is not an ad for KFC, but KFC, if you happen to see this, sponsor me with free chicken. <laughs> Please do. I, I would love that. Free bowls for life. All right. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Peace. For life. And I hope you enjoyed Driftwood. I did. We'll be there in two weeks, you. right? Two weeks? Yeah. Did you really miss me? I did. I doubt it. All right, thanks guys. Your support means a lot. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. See you in hell. Have a productive week. Peace.